I got another headline that came out today. Sun, talking about signs of the times, right? Sun could produce killer super flares. <clears throat> We're living in the last days, saints. We're living in the last days. Sun could produce killer super flares. As says here, every now and then, large sun storms strike the earth. Where, where, where they cause auroras and in rare cases, power cuts. These events are, however, nothing compared to the apocalyptic destruction we could or we would experience if the earth were struck by what's called a super flare. An international research team suggests that this scenario might be a real possibility. Solar eruptions consist of energetic particles that are hurled away from the sun into space, where those directed towards earth encounter the magnetic field around our planet. When these eruptions interact with Earth's magnetic field, they cause beautiful auroras, a poetic phenomenon that reminds us that our closest star is an unpredictable neighbor. Solar eruptions are, however, nothing compared to the eruptions we see on other stars, the so-called super flares. Super flares have been a mystery since the Kepler mission discovered them in larger numbers four years ago. Now, the fact that the sun has been very active. Now, can I say this? We've been getting co some conflicting reports on the sun. And I say this within the past two years that, we were, that we've been reporting specifically on solar activity. We have received reports that the sun is quieting down and getting into a phase of almost like a shutdown. It's really bizarre. And then we've given you reports or reports have come out that the sun is, is the most active that has been in thousands of years and that these massive solar flares and plumes are hitting the earth and have caused outages in radio towers, air traffic control towers, and more. So which one is it? I don't know. I, we've been giving you both reports because that's what has been coming out. But I'll tell you this. It's a sign of the times. Luke chapter 21, verse 25. Go with me. Luke chapter 21, verse 25. We know that the White House has prepared themselves for a catastrophic solar flare that could... Um, wipe out power for the entire world. We reported that to you back in November 2015. So there's enough information out there that even the White House has, has, has taken notice. And not just the White House, but also the European Union. We've been reporting on this. Um, but to kind of go back to the White House for a second. Um, the White House, and we reported this again last November 2015, White House is preparing for catastrophic solar flares, which could wipe out power around the world for months, bringing an end to modern civilization as we know it. These are what's called EMPs, massive electromagnetic pulses, and they could be caused by solar flares, which could bring an end to modern civilization. And when we say modern civilization, we mean that everything that we are accustomed to, our cell phones, our televisions, our radio, our computers, our gadgets, everything that pretty much makes life run for the most part in the outside world. There would not be any stock market. There will not be any grocery market. Did I say that right? Yeah, grocery market. There, there will not be any television sets, no computers, no cell phones. Nothing would work if a massive EMP was to hit the earth. Now, the thing is, again, we know that scientists are reporting that the sun could produce a killer super flare. And this is what the White House has already been preparing for since, well, the report came out last November, but they've been preparing this for quite some time. I don't know if you remember, but I believe in the first term of the Obama administration, they were doing some type of um, work on the grounds of the White House. I don't know if you all remember that. We reported it here at Open Your Eyes, people. Uh, but even mainstream media picked it up where they were working. Um, there were crews working on the grounds of the White House. It was very secretive. All the things were, you know, they had a fence that was blocked off. 
to where no tourists or outside visitors could see in on the grounds of the White House. And they were there probably for well over a year working on the Lord only knows what. They, When they wrapped it up, you didn't see anything different. The, the grounds were just as it looked. It remained the same to the natural eye, right? To the, to the outside looking in. But what were they doing? W were they preparing for what I just gave you? Were they preparing for what they know may be coming? Because they've, the, they've been given the heads up or the thumbs up from NASA, perhaps. I'm serious. I mean, this is what's going on. My friends, there's so much things that's going on. We just need to get our houses in order. Because people... You know, the ones who, who, who are the leaders, you know, the nations, the, the governments of the, of, of, of the nations of the world, they know a lot more things than the average citizen does, obviously, right? But seeing that we're living in the last days, it's kind of like every man for themselves. So that's why we here at Open Your Eyes People tell you constantly, get ready, have some extra food on hand, have some extra water on hand, you know, have some extra candles, some batteries, some flashlights, some blankets, uh, some board games. Because if an EMP was to strike, and we say, God forbid, we don't, we don't want it to strike, my friends. You, I don't care if you have stuff for the next five years and you say, well, if I don't use it, it may go to waste. I'd rather you not use it and it go to waste then you have to use it because an EMP hit. Because an EMP is no joke. Uh, anyway, I just want to tell you that um, with this White House thing, you know, I, I, all these leaders know if something big may be coming and the average citizen would not know. And they would just kind of have to bunk, hunker down themselves so that they could try to be peace in the midst of chaos. We got to make sure we have our houses in order, uh, spiritually and naturally. Some could produce killer super flares. Um, again, White House has prepared for the threat after a major solar flare nearly missed the Earth back in 2012. See, I just saw that. Back in 2012, a solar flare, major, big enough to where it caused a White House to prepare for the threat. Are you prepared? What's the Bible have to say about this? It's in, it's in it's Bible prophecy. It says here, Luke chapter 21, verse 25, and there will be signs in the sun. Come on now. And there will be signs in the sun. Well, this is signs in the sun when we're talking about super flares, massive coronor, what's it called? Coronas from the sun? Massive flares that could be big enough to cause a massive worldwide outage. And listen, they say that if a, if a super flare that was large enough to hit the U.S. and actually cause massive outages across the U.S. alone, not talking about other nations, but just the U.S. alone, it will cost, two, it will cost up to $2.6 trillion to try to get us back up and running. But it will bring us back to like the Stone Ages. Do you know how to garden? Do I know how to garden? Anyway, we just got to be, we got to be in Christ during these times because the sun is so unpredictable. The Lord says that there will be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars when it comes to the coming of the Son of Man. He said, you'll know my coming by these signs. One of the signs of the times, sun is going to be acting up. Unpredictable.